Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, Courtney and Travis Baker um, sends farewell to the Kardashians as they start their own show. Um, it does seem like, um, obviously, the Kardashians, the show, um, seems to be, I don't know, running out of ideas or um, a lot of arguments in the family. Um, people are not as into it as they once were. I watched it um, for many, many years, um, especially when it was good, when they were all getting on. I thought it was um, um, great TV. But a lot of the, you know, the sisters seem to be going their own way and doing their own thing, you know. And um, it's a shame because, like I said, they're not always getting on like they once did. So we're going to get straight into the video anyway. From the Kardashian show for good because listen they have been getting so much backlash from their family and when I say family we all know it's the Kardashian I think at the end of the day Courtney feels gang up on and she's not allowing it anymore because I don't think it's okay for Kim or Chloe to be assassinating Courtney's character during her pregnancy it's not okay and for chris jenner as a mom how can you pick sides you know this lady she acts as if she's in her 20s or something please chris be a mom why would you be taking kim's side all the time you know i think at the end of i've said this before that um i think uh basically um kim's uh chris's uh basically favorite and she will not hear a bad word said about Kim, and um, all the rest should have to um, have, have, have a go at Courtney, uh, uh, and say a lot. Um, uh, you know, we'll fire into them when need be, but it's it. You know, they're not treated the same. That's definitely um, not the case of the day they try to put this narrative out there that oh their family and family sticks together there's a lot of uh bias in the family and in picking sides and stuff i think they speak down on courtney so bad that this girl thinks you know it's okay that she got married and she needs to choose her husband and when she chose travis barker and she stepped away for a while that's when the dogs and i'm talking about kim and chris and chloe came attacking this girl thinking that oh she should always stick you know beside them even though she has a marriage this is um, what i've been saying you grow up you want different things in life you step away from the limelight, which is what Courtney does. But like I said, the Kardashians, they seem to think that um, they, even though they're married, they come first. If there's a meeting there, there's a program, they've got to be there. Courtney doesn't want that. Courtney wants to be settled. At the end of the day, she's with Travis now and she's happy. Sometimes they want to do their own thing. But I think the pr pressure of uh, um, basically, the, you know, the hierarchy, Kim, you know, Chris, Jenna, you know, it is, it must be a lot of pressure to please them as well. Married life now, like be for real. You bashed Courtney and you said to her, she's the least to look at. She's not important. She's not famous. And no one gives a F about Courtney. Those were Kim's words. And now when and that's not good at the end of the day. Yes, we know Kim's um, very pretty at the end of the day but like i said to disrespect your sisters like that that's completely um out of order because courtney have done a lot for kim and the kadatin's fame um just by being on the show and that deserves respect itself when Courtney is all in love and is married to Travis Barker, you're talking about, you know, she's all about Travis and she doesn't talk to her family anymore. Can't you remember the words that you said to your sister, Kim? At the end of the day, I think they're all annoying and very tricky and judgmental because they're trying to bully Courtney and she's not allowing it. And Chloe herself, I think Chloe is so sad in her own issues. And I'm talking about Tristan's issue. I think Chloe is not a happy person.
and they all say misery loves company. So Chloe realizes that Cam and the whole family is ganging up on Courtney. So she's taking their side because she's also not happy with her life, which I find very interesting because who caused that? You know, Chloe chose to be with someone who was always going to cheat on her. And she acts as if there's not a uh, plenty fishes out there in the sea. She is taken by Tristan with any means necessary. And they're all judging Courtney and trying to pick a fight. Look, with we know Chloe and Tristan um, have had their ups and downs in their relationship. But I think Chloe loves Tristan and she's not willing to let him go. They've been through the mill um, in their um, relationships. And I think sometimes Chris should basically sort of back off and give them their time. They're a lot older now. They're not kids anymore. They have their own agendas, their own life. And um, basically, she should be happy for them. But um, it just seems like it's about Kim and Chris. If they're not bringing in money, and if they're not there um, as a family, a click of a finger, then um, they get their asses kicked, which is um, incredible. Uh, you know, especially Courtney, and she's she's a nice woman. With her husband, Travis. Mind you, Travis Barker has done nothing wrong, only that he has been super supportive of Courtney. And I think when a group of people see that someone loves you genuinely, they hate that, you know? Unhappy people doesn't like to see other people being happy. And it sucks because I never would have imagined, you know, Courtney's own family would be hating on her. Now, everyone is making up this rumor that Courtney is allegedly starting her own reality TV series. Like, hell, I pray for that to happen, but I think she's going to get some fight, you know, because there's no one who's supposed to top the Kardashians. There's no... Whoa. <laughs> She does that, then fair play. But it's going against everything Chris doesn't want in um, a reality show because a lot of people would tune in to Courtney and Travis Baker, their family life and stuff. Um, Travis Barker, excuse me. Um, and obviously the views for the Kardashians, if they're all not in it, is you know it's going to be a problem i can see sometimes why rob had um stepped back out of the picture because all the pressure the fame and earning money and you keep going you have to be in the media i understand that it must be a lot of pressure because um, i think chris and kim they're quite the same it's because like fame um being out there um being ready to mingle is their life and they'll do that every day if possible and they don't see it any other way. Nobody who's supposed to top Kim or to look more impressive or high on top. Kim wants to be the only person that is seen, okay? So I think even though Courtney is a good personality to be on a reality show, even if she's going to create her own show with Travis Barker, they need to be prepared for some fight because I don't think Chris or Kim is going to allow that to happen. So, Courtney, I would say, you know, keep a clean strike. You know, be very careful because do not underestimate your family. I think she's thinking... Of no, you can't do that. Um, Chris Jenner, she wouldn't have that. And with Kim behind her, uh, she could probably change Courtney's mind into not doing it. You've got to be very, very careful because she could be because of contracts and stuff she could be banished from a lot of things so it's i think it's very very important courtney and travis barker thinks about this seriously um because this could have repercussions in more ways than one Oh, I'm their sister and I'm Kris Jenner's daughter. They're not going to do shit to me. Yes, they will. And they will sabotage your life, your career, your marriage. That's what they do. And Kris Jenner comes on, you know, on this big screen pretending as if she's a good person. There's so many things people have said about her in Hollywood that she alleged scammed so many people off their money to be where she is now. They did it to Britney Spears. They did it to 
to Brandy, they did it to Paris Hilton. And there's so many other things that people have been saying. Now I'm very disappointed in Khloe Kardashian because I thought that she was the sweet dove, even though I still think she is, but she's in a very rough patch in her life right now. However, I am so sick that Khloe is taking Kim's side. I know Courtney back in the day was kind of a savage person, but you know, people change. And now she's living her life. She's very she's happy. Courtney's happy. I think Chloe, um, I think she's a little bit afraid of Kim and Kim's dominant personality and it's my word the highway. I think Chloe is not strong enough to take on Kim. Whereas Courtney's um will, will rather just talk the truth and just sit back. Um, whereas um I think Kim she has a lot of power in that family because um Chris Jenner gives her that power because they they think the same about the Kardashians. It's about money, it's about fame and it's about being out there and um I'm not I think Chloe knows that but she doesn't want to say anything at the end of the day because like I said they will turn on her so I think this is why um, there's a lot of uh, basically arguments in the family at the end, end of the day but the dominant two um, are definitely Kim and her mum Chris Jenner very happy with Travis. I think they should cut her some slack. Allow her to be very engaged in her married life. She is given this chance of love. Allow her to enjoy it. I think Kim is super bitter and jealous that she doesn't even know how to contain her emotions. I don't think that should be given off bad to her sister, you know? And I am so disgusted that Kim is out here bashing Travis Barker, shading him that he's taking away Courtney from the family. Like hell, that's his wife. What is he supposed to do? And he has been super unproblematic. Travis Barker doesn't trouble anybody. Like he has always been super nice to the family, you know, very respectful, very pleasant, even to Scott Disick. And we all know Scott Disick can be a jerk. You know, we all know he's a jerk. But at the end of the day, if they're going to cancel, you know, Courtney and Travis Barker from the show, they need to pay up Courtney because I think she carried the whole seasons from the beginning of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. This is what I'm saying. She put a lot of effort. She's got a lot of people that like her. She's got a lot of flo um, followers. But there's no way um, Chris and Kim are going to let her go without a fight at the end of the day. And like I said, because um, they see it as that, they built it. But, you know, sometimes they forget what all the other sisters have put into it at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Um, this could go, this could go Peter. It really could. She, and she has been reality TV. So let's talk about it. So when Kim is going to say, you know, Courtney is not important. The show doesn't need her. She is the one who has given the show so much ratings alongside, you know, Scott. So I think Kim is just hypocritical because she sees, you know, that her sister is very powerful and she doesn't want anyone to be looking more important and, and powerful than her. And that's the crazy mess that is happening in the family. However, I do wish Courtney, you know, keeps her journey straight, you know, focus on herself. And I do wish her the most healthiest, you know, pregnancy because I do. It sounds like to me she's obviously thinking about her pregnancy, you know, thinking about the new kid coming along, um, all the pressure from Kim and Chris, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, it's a lot of pressure, she's got a relationship with Travis, which she's really, really happy with, and things change, a lot of things have changed for Kim and Kanye, uh, they've both moved on in different directions, uh, Chloe has had problems with it in her relationships, but um, she's trying to um, keep it together. Look, there are going to be ups and downs in families. These are a very, very famous rich family, the Kardashians. And I, I can remember the first um, series, which came out years ago. And, you know, they were brilliant. They were always interesting characters. There was always something going on. And, um, but it's, it's, I think over the last few years, 
it, they don't seem to be getting on. I think they, they don't seem as close as what they used to be at the end of the day. And I think a lot of them, if, 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 it, if it wasn't for Chris, I think a lot of them uh, wouldn't be doing that, um, Kardashians, because I, I think it's Chris who keeps that business running and Kim does that, you know, we've got to do as a family, this is ours and we're going to make it work and nobody's going to take this away from us. Um, I think with the, definitely with Chris is business first and Kim. I do believe once someone is now married, they get to live their life to the fullest. Kim had her chance at marriage and she screwed it up. No one's fault but her. But she should give her sister this opportunity to be happy. No one should be jealous of their sister, siblings, cousins, or any family member. It's very sickening to see that. And also what I don't like is when Chloe choose to be gossiping about Courtney to the Dolce and Gabbana creative director and you know Kim elaborating to people that Courtney is an awful person and Courtney's jealous of me. Like that wasn't even the point. Courtney just deserves some respect and that's all she was telling her family, you know, respect me. Don't treat me as if I'm not important. Don't talk about me. This is um, where I'm saying um, it's about hierarchy in that family. And if you don't believe in what Chris and Kim are, are doing, because obviously they call, you know, they call all the shots in that family, then you're not important. If you don't agree with them, they tend to turn against you and pick on you. As if I I'm not there. Give me some respect. Cut me some slack. And they all misinterpreted, you know, Courtney's decision and everything that Courtney says, because guess what? Kim is super jealous. She's the one who's jealous, but she is switching the narrative because she doesn't want anyone to see the true person that she is. And I'm glad that I could talk about this because many of y'all are getting the wrong impression about Courtney. She's not an awful person. But let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section because I'm eager to see the next steps that Courtney takes in her life. But let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Don't That's the end of the video, but like I said, I do hope that um, uh, Courtney and Travis do do their own thing because like I said, life's about being free. Um, sometimes families say things because they love you or they want you to go in the same direction as they do, but it, sometimes it doesn't always work that way. But um, I hope the Cardassians and the husbands and the partners all sort her out. But like I said, I think the drama will keep going for a little while. Anyway, folks, don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment. Thank you for the old subscribers who support me from day one and the new subscribers. Take care of yourselves. Bye. See you again.